So we're working on the GTI today and put the exhaust, we're going to put the exhaust together. I notice there's some hoses missing. So what we're going to do is go back to the parts GTX and rob the hoses off of it. It's actually the exhaust hoses. So what we're going to do, we're going to get a flathead screwdriver. And here we go. And probably a can of wall spray because I've seen some walls around it. And we'll go back there and rob it off of that one. So here we go. Back here at the 94 GTX. And this thing's got an ant farm in it. It's been sitting so long. I really don't want to reach off in there. Sucks. But that's the hose I need. It goes from the exhaust all the way over to that uh, exhaust port that goes out the back. So I'm going to set it here and get to it by ants. <laughs> Try reaching here gently. I might just pull this whole pipe out. It's not easy to come off. Damn ants everywhere. get some big ply ooh some big pliers to put around that uh hose right there i'm just going to pull the whole exhaust piece out because these ants i don't know if you can see them on camera but they're just all over this thing so let me get that off they even getting on the camera let me get that off and then we'll get it back around there to the gt all right okay so i went back there and robbed the gt X. I'm just gonna put the whole exhaust pipe. I think it's got some water or something in it. It might not be a good idea to. Ew, what is that? Acorns? I don't know if it'd be a good idea to put the whole pipe in there or not. You know what? I'm just gonna put the hose on there. We'll just use the pipe that came with it. That's uh, it's not full of water and acorns, and uh, we'll get that set up in there and get everything hooked up, and uh, then we'll get ready to uh, see what she run on her own fuel, right? So happy campers! After going through every exhaust hose I had and pipe, uh, I ended up robbing one off of the GS, the one that has the motor that's torn down. Uh, this one came off the SPX, this one came off the GTI, and finally came up with a pipe that would uh, work better. Well, not the pipe, but the hose. I had a problem finding a rubber hose that snakes around here, and this is the best one. I mean, it's not collapsed or anything, so it should let it exhaust through. And uh, they had a piece of radiator hose on here for uh, the extension hook to the uh your main pipe i took that crap off and put uh the correct one on so now we need to see about fuel i don't know if this thing got any fuel in it um, again happy sunday everybody how's everybody going today it's a lovely day it's about 70 something degrees here in memphis and, uh, sit right here. I'm going to try and get this uh, that one first. I don't have my headband on. Try and get this thing off and see how much gas is in here. I don't think it's any. Uh, let's see. It's pretty clean in here. Um, 
Um, I think the gas tank is empty. I don't see anything. I don't smell any bad gas. I know it does have oil in the oil tank. So, we gotta get a battery in it. And, uh, let's get some gas in. I got some premix ready for it. And, uh, we'll get back going. Okay, we got the premix mixed up. I got the oiler, uh, got the hose clamped off on it. The original two cycle oiler is still hooked up. We got a battery in it, and we're gonna see what she do. So, playing with some solder and stuff. <coughs> hmm. Got to tighten the spark plug up. I gotta figure out what an idle screw is. I got it idled up mighty high. I don't know if they messed with it or not, but let's get some water hooked to it. Man, this thing fired right up. So I didn't got lucky. What? Um, let's see. Uh, four times. <laughs> Guys ready? I am. One small problem. It doesn't have the O-ring 
on the little spigot here. There's supposed to be an O-ring on there, and that's uh, missing. So uh, let me see if I can find an O-ring to put on there, and then we'll get that on and then run some water through it. Okay, I got it, the little O-ring. Is it idling so high? It seems like the idle has got it really high on it. So, man, I got it. So, so I'm going to have to look up in there and see how to idle this thing down. So let me see if I can get this intake off and try and look back there and see how we can idle this thing down. This one has the dual carburetors on it. Um, I do know this is a set of 650 carbs and I'm thinking it's supposed to be right here, but I can't feel it. Let me try one more time. I really don't want to take that breather off of there. I'm just going to have to take that uh, breather off because I can't see back there. For some reason, the throttle is way too wide open on it. So let me get that off and we'll find the throttle. I think these carburetors are different from those. And uh, go from there.
Got another runner. Runs good. Uh, still a mystery. Don't know why it was parked. They said the motor was bad, but the motor is not bad. So, I don't see nothing back here falling off nowhere. Um, does smoke a little bit more than normal because there's still some oil in the oiler which I have a pair of small vice grips clamping the oil line off which I'm going to do away with the oiler anyway it still has the original oiler hooked up so motor sounds good and strong so <laughs> that makes it what number five <laughs> number four mystery um, you can't really tell until you put them in the water but other than that she is good to go so hit that like button if you like this video i mean um subscribe if you haven't subscribed share and uh we'll get back we'll do we'll do a down to the lake test run so see y'all later